Hello besties, Essie here for Nat and Essie Crafts. And in this video, I am going to show you how to create these tie-dye designs or styles with your face masks. Here are all the items that I used for this project. I have all the product links in the description box if you guys want to buy them. First item that I used are the Rit liquid dyes. We also need these bottles, face masks of course, rubber bands and disposable gloves, and also a drying rack. So the first thing I want to do is to prepare my dyes here. I am just filling up these bottles with warm water and I will be mixing the dyes with it. Now, obviously, the more concentrated your mixture is going to be, the more vibrant your color your colors will turn out. So if you want a more pastel kind of color, you want to do more water and lesser dye. Then you want to close the bottle and mix things up. Shake it up, shake it up. Next, I went ahead and put on my gloves. That way my hands won't be stained with all the dyes that I'm going to use in this project. Next, you want to rinse your masks to remove the coating on the fabric. And you want to um, get rid of excess water. That way the masks are moist but not soaking wet. This will help the dye adhere to the fabric better. First design that we are going to make is the stripes tie-dye. To do that, we need to create pleats with our face mask. You can do this horizontally like I'm doing right now or you can also do it vertically however you want. Then I went ahead and create sections with the face mask using a rubber band. You can create as many sections as you want. I want to create three sections, so I'm going to use two rubber bands. And if you want colors on your straps as well, go ahead and secure those at the back. And here we go! Now let's get our drying rack. This is actually a cookie rack and pan that I'm using here. But any drying rack that you have at home will do. Just make sure that there is something on the bottom to catch the excess water. So right here I am pouring in some dyes on the different sections of the face mask. Don't forget to also color the back. And here is color purple for the last section. Here is how it looks like and we're gonna go ahead and put that on the side. Next is the starburst design. So with that, we just need to pinch the center of the face mask and we are going to secure that with rubber band. Next, you wanna create a couple sections below the center so i'm using a rubber band for that as well and i have included the straps with it i went ahead and used yellow for the center coral for the middle section i know it looks red but it is coral and then pink on the biggest section Okay, all done! Now for the ombre effect tie-dye, we want to hold the mask up like this. That way the color doesn't soak all the way to the top. Here I am starting on the bottom and I am using a very concentrated mixture of purple. I am also including the straps as I go. 
Then I added more water to my mixture to dilute the color a little bit and I am going to use that on the middle part of the mask. And then I added more water to the mixture to further dilute it, that way the color is the lightest and that is what I'm going to use for the top area. Okay, so here are our three prepped tie-dyes. I am going to leave them overnight and come back for them tomorrow. Here we are! After soaking them overnight, here are our masks. Now it's time to get rid of all the excess colors on the masks by rinsing them thoroughly. You want to make sure that when you squeeze the water out, it is no longer bleeding out the colors. That's when you know it's ready to be air dried outside or you can simply just toss them in the dryer. And here we have our tie-dye masks. The first one we have over here is the sunburst design. Here is our purple ombre face mask. And the stripes tie-dye. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click the like button down below and subscribe to this channel for more crafts and DIY videos in the future. Essie here. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos from us, just click one of the boxes on the screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking Sprinkles the Bear. Also, let's continue to find all over the internet. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Bye, besties!